Hello, I'm Necro, and today I'll be walking you through the Seeds and Adventurer's Tome items of Sunbright Hill. Timestamps will be in the description, so without further ado, let's begin. For this map, we'll be starting at the Clay Soldier Garden Triport. From the Triport, we're going to start by heading left and exiting through the gate, and here in the middle of this field, you're going to find, beside this rock, your first Makoko Seed. Next, we'll head west, and then we'll follow the northern path. So right here on the map, this is where you'll find the world boss Willy Willy. And like other world bosses, he'll be on a 30 minute timer, so eventually, if you stay here long enough, you'll find him. Once you do, just go ahead and kill him. After we defeat a Willy, we're going to head down south again. We'll be making our way to this part of the map, where you'll see Bart Allegro on his rock. And if we come to the right of Allegro, in these sunflowers, we're going to find a vista. Now you can walk or teleport to the Pumpkin Farm Triport. At the Triport, we're going to first head east and hug this wall right here till you're past Bard Bola, and here where this corn's hanging, if you look behind the shack, you're going to find another seed. Now just south of the Triport, at about right here, inside of these sunflowers, you're going to find another seed. From here, we're going to walk past the Charmed Farmer and hug the right wall. Once you're at this dead end on the map, there's a seed to your left. Now we're going to make our way down to the Remnants Assembly Area part of the map. Here you're going to be looking for the Sherrit Army Gladiator Monster Marks. Once you find him, go ahead and kill him. Make yourself a little bit of breathing room. And inside of these sunflowers right here, you're going to find another seed. Now leave the assembly area and head to the west. We're going to make our way to the leftmost area of the map. Here against this cabin, you're going to find this table and you can investigate it. This will give you the sacred rituals of the Harvester's hidden story. Then if you leave the gate and just head south a little, at about right here, you'll find this pumpkin patch and if you search it, you'll find another seed. Teleport back to the pumpkin farm one more time, this time making our way towards the right part of the map. We're going to be heading to approximately here inside of this pumpkin field, where we'll find another seed. Now we'll ride about 5 seconds north, to about right here, where you'll see the scarecrow and a seed. Now leave this field along the road to the east, and at the zone's eastern wall, about right here, you'll find some wolves who aren't aggressive and another seed. Follow this path up to the northeast, and at about here, Underneath this fruit tree, you'll find your final seed before the dungeon. Now let's head back to the Clay Soldier Garden. Now we'll be starting the tomb of the Great King Lutera. Before we head in, just a quick reminder to check your adventurer's tome to see if you need a specific difficulty. Once inside, we're simply going to make our way along the path. Once you get to this little nub right here, you'll check it for a Makoko seed. You'll open the moon door. And as soon as you walk through, if you take a small right, you'll find a seed. Keep heading along this hidden path, because there are quite a few more back here. One to your left of these candles, one more after you cross the first bridge, and you'll see the final one beside these tombstones as you cross the second bridge. Once back on the main path, you'll climb up some vines, you'll defeat the White Mage, and then here on the map in the back of the White Mage's arena, you'll find another seed. Now you'll continue along on either path, until you get to this platform where the paths converge again, where beside this dead tree, you'll find another seed. There are no more seeds in this section of the dungeon, so pick any path you want and make your way into the King's Tomb. And once you phase through, just walk a little bit forward, and in this fern you'll find another seed. Now we'll just make our way along the path, taking this elevator. At the first bend here, right to your left on this ledge, is another seed. For the final seed, you'll make your way to the next bend, and if you see this pot here, you can actually break it. Underneath of it is the final seed. And now all that's left is to finish the dungeon. Make sure to keep going until you get this chest because the dungeon doesn't complete until you do. Alright, that wraps up Sunbright Hill. If this video helped you at all, consider leaving a like, it would mean a lot. Subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of the series, and let me know if there's something you'd like me to do better in the comments. The Flowering Orchard is next, so until then, that's all from me. See ya!